Does it bother you when you see things like, oh, thin is in? Or do you think it's just stupid and you keep scrolling? Hey guys, Jasmine Whitley here. Welcome back to Closet Raid. If you're new, welcome. I am a celebrity wardrobe stylist. I've been in fashion for years. I style a lot of young Hollywood and I live in LA. And last year I made a video all about the toxic low rise jean trend. And in the comments, a lot of people just expressed and shared their stories with how low rise jeans, like how that trend specifically was so hard on them because it was just an unrealistic standard. Like you had to be a size zero. If you want to watch the whole video, like I go into detail and I will like put it in the cards or whatever and I'll link it in the description. But basically like last year, it was like the start of low rise jeans coming back in. And I already felt like so much PTSD and stress just because growing up as a kid in middle school and high school, like it was so in fashion to be real thin, to be frail, to, be, to look sickly, to look underfed. Everyone just talked about dieting and how skinny you could be. And it still is like that to a certain extent. And like my fear is that like things are gonna get worse because of social media. Like growing up, there were like, I'm like really making myself sound so old, but like growing up there were just like magazines and like media on TV, like E! News and like that kind of pop culture stuff. Like now we are bombarded with images on TikTok, social media, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. All you see all day long is content, like pictures and video content. So I don't even know how that's gonna I don't know how that's gonna affect like teens growing up and even like every age group at that. Like it's not like only teens are targeted, but they're very much in a sensitive space, a very crucial time in their lives, like growing up developmentally. And I feel like it's just gonna be really scary to see how it affects kids um, to be bombarded with photos of anorexia. So anyway, with all this being said, let me backtrack. So New York Post, um, came out with this article that talks about, hold on, let me grab my phone. It literally says, bye bye booty, heroin chic is back. Like, are you kidding me right now? Like how could New York Post say, bye bye booty, heroin chic is back? Like, it's so sick. The article goes on and on to talk about how like, being frail and bone thin is in and how the Kardashians took out the, their like BBLs are gone and everyone's skinny and like at the end of the article, it says, if you're someone you love is struggling with an eating disorder, you can call the National Eating Disorder Hotline. Like the audacity, like the audacity to be like being skinny is back in, but if you need help, like give you some hotline. Like, I don't know, you lost me there. These are people's lives. Like not only will it affect people's lives in the moment, feeling like they have to look a certain way and not eat and like really destroy their body for the sake of fashion and society and trends and being like deemed beautiful or pretty or accepted like it's really sick like it makes my stomach just turn because it's not only affecting people in the present like going through it but like it will have a long lasting effect on your mental health like psychologically it's like, why are we doing this? You know what I mean? I don't know. I just needed to come on here and vent. I think that bodies obviously are not trends. We're humans and there's so much more to us than just what we look like. And it's so hard to really realize that when you're young and all the young people who are like being influenced by the top creators, the biggest celebrities, like they really are just going to try to starve themselves to fit into the new beauty standard that everyone is saying is back. And I don't know, it makes me really emotional. It makes me stressed. It, I've always had body image issues because when I grew up, I grew up with like the Lindsay Lohan, Paris Hilton, Nicole Richie. Like it was just, that was it. If you were not skinny, you were fat. There was like one or the other. There wasn't like, oh, like midsize, average, this, that, no. It was like, if you were not skinny, you were not considered pretty, you were considered fat and frumpy. I just can't get over the fact that that's coming back in and people really are pushing it. Like brands are gonna push it. And like, it's already hard as a stylist. Like I wish I could spill all the tea and tell you guys like 
when I pull samples for celebrities that you guys know, influencers that you guys know, like some of the girls, they are not a sample size and it is rare for showrooms to have pieces that will fit them that I can go pull. Like it's so sickening. It makes me feel like, okay, everyone was really pushing to be healthy for so long and for like beauty standards to change. And I know trend cycling is a thing, like everything kind of comes back around, but it's like, when do we reach a point where we learn and we're better and we're like, like, why do we have to go back to that? You know, it's just, it makes me sad. Like the first thing I think is like, oh great. Like, well, what can we do? Like these people with millions of followers and millions of dollars who are in power and in control, like fashion brands and influencers and big companies are gonna push for diet culture and anorexia to be back in style and to be under 100 pounds and to be like all of these things, right? I guess the only thing we can do like to combat it or to like just not give into it and just accept it is to keep posting real things. Like it became more relatable and popular to share unedited images to share things that felt more raw and real and candid and natural. Like, I guess that's like the only thing we can do is like try to keep posting things that are real life. You can't cancel someone also for being naturally thin. There are girls who are naturally bone thin and stick thin and that is just their frame. Like the thing is like working in fashion, I, I see so many girls, I style so many girls and some of them are naturally tiny, like really petite humans. They're small people and some people are naturally bigger and curvier. It's just really dangerous when one specific body type is trending because not everybody is naturally that body type. Only a certain percentage, only a small amount of people are gonna fit into that category. And then the rest of the people either have to star themselves or, you know, let's just say do get surgeries or just live an unhealthy life to get to something that they were not genetically like predisposed to be able to be. I don't know. It's so upsetting. This year has just been really hard. Like this is literally just a rant and like I'm not offering a solution to the problem. I'm just expressing my feelings. Like I've gained so much weight this year. I'm the heaviest I've been. This whole thing about like super thin bodies being like what's pretty and what's important and what's valued and what, you know what I mean? Like it just adds like a layer of stress to my life and it really shouldn't. Like I'm secure in who I am, but it's just at the same time working in fashion really takes a toll on my like body dysmorphia. I will always like see things from a really warped perspective just because of working in the fashion industry for so many years. Before there were influencers, there was a lot of pressure on actors and pop stars to look a certain way and because they were gonna be on the cover of magazines. But now like that pressure is applied to so many millions of more people, like all the content creators who are working with brands like those brands are going to start picking the skinniest girls they're going to start working with the thinnest smallest girls and it's like it's just going to put this overall pressure on the industry to be so stick skinny and it's like when and how did this happen like i remember making the low-rise jean video like a year ago and and thinking like no like this cannot actually be coming back but here we are like things have progressed and it's just a really huge disappointment i feel like this video was such a downer i'm sorry for being like really depressing um but it's just like really been on my mind lately like that new york post article like really just seeing it everywhere really, really just triggered me and like i hate that word like it triggered me but like it really really upset me seeing that like the new york post said like skinny is in bye bye like booties like booties are out like and i remember growing up and like saying someone had a fat ass was not a compliment like that was like calling someone gross basically it's just really sad to see that circulating all over the internet on like everything i look at i want to know your guys like opinion on things i want to know how you feel when you see does it bother you when you see things like oh thin is in um 
or do you think it's just stupid and you keep scrolling? Am I really ultra sensitive to it because it is my industry and I like work in this space? So seeing those articles really upset me. Like, I'm just curious on where like everyone stands and like what this means to other people, I guess. I guess that's my real question and I'm really curious. So if you wanna leave it in the comments, I would really appreciate hearing where your feels are in this craziness. Now that I had that little rant and little moment, I'm so excited to just share other things that have been going on. I've been working with this brand called Cider and I styled a really fun uh, like styling suite. I worked on a really fun event with them and I'm working on another event with them this coming week and I will put like full videos up of like those days and share that with you guys. I'm also working on April J, like I'm wearing the date night hoops from my collection and I've been working on new pieces. It's almost a year since I launched. So if you have purchased jewelry from me, like really, from, like sincerely, thank you so much. And like getting all those orders out to you was so exciting all year. And like, I can't believe it's been a year. So wild. So thank you for being supportive and like always so kind and I really love you guys a lot and I love making content. Anyway, with all that being said, I'm gonna end the video here. I will be sharing lots of shorts too. So definitely check out the shorts tab. I like that they moved it to like its own tab. But anyway, love you guys and I will see you in a new video very, very soon.